Hey guys, this is the last episode I'm going to do for a while, but it should be a pretty good one. It's things that did not burn during the fire. I went through hours of footage and it was pretty interesting what I found. Here are the famous umbrellas. These are actually Tommy Bahama umbrellas. And I have pictures of these before the fire, so you can see what they actually used to look like. Not very different now. And then the sole surviving car on Front Street in front of the outlet mall. And I actually found another sole survivor car the other direction that's a little bit further south on Front Street, which I didn't notice at the time. But here it is right here. You can see it on the left in this frame here. Anyway, I'm going to just roll some of this footage. Most of this is unreleased. It doesn't really work that well with TikTok because this is all shot in 16.9. But uh, I, I've got hundreds of gigabytes, uh, many, many hours of footage, both on the ground and in the air. So all of that footage, again, has been uploaded to a friend in an undisclosed location. They then copied all of that data onto a 256 AES encrypted hard drive and then physically took it to somebody else. Uh, so if somebody's able to intercept that or or get it, then we've we've lost. I mean, there's there's nothing more I could have done. In the middle of editing this footage last night, there was an incident where some people came to my house. They were banging on my door and they were yelling, Jeff Cygnus, Jeff Cygnus. Um, we made the decision just to kind of lay low and, and see if the situation escalated. I was ready to defend myself. Uh, there was, it seemed like it was at least two people, I think potentially more. Uh, we heard them talking to each other and eventually they just went away, but I, I could hear the tone in their voice. I mean, these people certainly were not my friend and I just want to speak candidly with you guys for a few minutes here, if I can, uh, this whole last two weeks has been the longest two weeks of my life, no question. And I mean, I've, I've done some stressful things in my life for sure, but nothing quite to this magnitude. And at the moment, I really need to think about the safety of my family and I need to think about my personal safety. Now, I'm not done telling this story but if anything happens to me, I won't be able to tell the rest of it. I am very confident, though, that the person who is in possession of the footage will be able to pick up where I left off if that's what it takes. And they have the credentials to all of my social media. Uh, and, and so I want to kind of tell you guys what to expect from me moving forward. First of all, I am going to continue with the daily story here on TikTok. So... For the people checking up on my safety, please do that. Please continue to look for that. I will continue to post it. I'm also going to upload some high-resolution content and uh, current episodes to YouTube and Rumble. And there were a couple of episodes that I edited together that I felt were not TikTok-friendly because the terms of service are a little bit different than X. So there's a couple things I'll put on X that will be different. So I'm going to try to do all that stuff sometime very soon here. I need to address a couple things and set the record straight. So first of all, I have made absolutely no money on this. I, I can't even say that. I signed up for X, so I've made negative $11 a month is the compensation I have received for killing myself for the last two weeks uh, because that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for money. I've had many, many uh, national news media outlets reach out to me wanting my footage, wanting interviews. I've had some some lucrative offers from them for sure, but I've turned all of them down. That's not why I'm doing it. I want the truth to get out there. And uh, I, I, I'll get into more about why I'm doing this in a minute. But the other thing I want to mention is the only reason I turned on tips on TikTok and X is because I had literally hundreds of people telling me to turn this on. And so I did. And across these platforms, I think last time I checked, it was almost 40 million uh, unique viewers. And out of those 40 million people, nobody tipped me anything. And that's totally fine, but that, that's it's not why I'm doing it. Um, but I, I didn't get any tips. And so I think the people saying that, you know, they, they probably were just saying that so they could create a situation where they could attack me. Um, but the truth is, I really have made no money whatsoever on any of this. And none of this has been meant to be political. I'm not that political of a person, but I do strongly believe in the First Amendment. I think that with situations like this, 
people should be able to say what they want to say about it. They should be able to report it without being intimidated, without uh, people trying to stop them and suppress them and without the, the government interfering. And I believe that people should have freedom. And I really, really strongly believe that's under attack right now. And no matter what your political ideology is, you should care about that. That should matter to you and you should do your part, whatever that is. And that's all I'm trying to do here is do my part. And it was it was very evident to me early on that nobody else was going to do this. And, I, you know, some of the stuff I've been doing is is pretty horrendous conditions. I mean, I've been hiking up to a hill, holding the phone up, trying to upload stuff for hours. I mean, I've been like like nobody else did this for a reason. But aside from that, when I was in the park, you know, and, and there and we were being ordered around out of thousands of people, I was really the only one. Uh, pushing for answers and 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 asking questions and 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 I don't know why that is you know I haven't lived here as long as some people and I have some ideas you know I can speculate about that and which is something I will do in the future but it it didn't seem like anyone else was going to do this and on top of that you know the the, the national news they don't tell you the whole story they don't show you everything and they're not even allowed in here right now so I I just really strongly felt somebody had to get something out there you know that was true and. It, I'm not finished with this. I will continue with this. For the people asking why I don't show my face, it's because I need to maintain some level of anonymity for safety reasons at the moment. I might show my face in future episodes. But the other thing is, I mean, the story is not about me. So I'm just telling the story and I'm showing you guys what's happening. I'm just telling you what's going on. That's it. So it's not really about me. It's not that relevant. Um, I really want to thank everyone who has supported my efforts here. And supported it by following, supported it by sharing, supported it by liking, supported it by comments. I read the comments, you know, and, and I can't reply to all of them. I, I don't have time, but I, I really appreciate them. I genuinely appreciate them. The kind words, the encouragement is a big part of why I've been able to do as much as I have been able to do. So thank you so much, guys, for all of the support. I promise I will be back soon. Uh, so please stay tuned and I'll see you soon.